Right, so now we look at the sample question, page 111, sample question 4.6. Right, so the government imposed sales tax on cigarette. The supply curve before tax is SO and after tax is S1. So this is the supply curve before tax and this is after tax. Yeah, they shift to the left. Right, so state the answer of the following based on the above diagram. The price and quantity after tax. So the price and quantity after tax dekat sini lah, yeah, E1. So, the price is $20, quantity is 10 units. The per unit tax paid by consumer. So, consumer di sini. Eh? So, consumer per unit maknanya tolak je 20, tolak 16. Kita dapat $4. And then, the per unit tax paid by producer. So, this is the area producer bayar. 16 minus 15, $1. And then, the per unit tax imposed by government. Jadi kita boleh ambil tadi 4 tambah 1 lah. 4 dolar yang producer consumer bayar tambah dengan 1 dolar yang producer bayar dapat uh, 5 dolar. Ataupun tolak je 20, tolak 15 dapat 5 dolar untuk uh, tax uh, per unit tax imposed by government. Total tax revenue collected by government. ya, yeah, So just darab lah tadi ya. Eh, 5 darab dengan 10. ya, yeah, Quantity dapatlah 50 dolar. And then, who pay more tax and why? So, dekat sini kita kata apa? Consumer will pay more tax. Why? Because the demand curve is inelastic ataupun demand curve is less elastic than supply curve. Yeah, people are not responsive towards price change. So, itu adalah contoh soalan. Um, so, dia sama ada you, you, dia dah bagi already soalan, yeah, diagram ataupun dia bagi dalam bentuk table and dia minta you all untuk uh, um, lukis ya yeah? draw the uh, market equilibrium and then um, answer the for the questions of tax lah ya yeah? jadi awak kena lukis tax ya yeah? shift of the uh, supply curve ini di dalam uh, graph paper so that one kita akan tengok later